hey guys welcome so this is the agenda for this video we are going to learn all these topics and then we are going to jump into the code and we'll do some coding as well so we'll see what is json json structure json arrays objects what are http calls what is main thread background thread google json then we have some design patterns live data view models coroutines view binding retrofit eventually we are going to create just this an image and a text view the main objective of this video is to learn these design patterns live data view models or how to use them and the other objective is to learn how to parse json so these keeping these two objectives in mind let's see my deck so let's first understand what is json json stands for javascript object notation notation it's a lightweight data interchange format easy to understand and it's language independent so this is how generally a normal json looks like we have these curly braces with uh, some arrays and objects and key value pairs inside now json structure has two parts it has json objects and arrays json objects can contain key value pairs or other objects or other arrays they are denoted with this curly braces and json arrays can contain other objects they are denoted with this uh, square brackets again uh, json objects represented by curly brackets key value pairs <clears throat> so they can contain key value pairs like name avengers that's a string and we have another key value pair that is year that is the key and it's an integer they are separated by a colon as you can see key value and the pairs are separated by a comma so that is how json reads uh, the json compiler reads how this json will be divided into key value pairs and then we'll be making some we'll be making some http calls in android so we'll be using http url connection class to send data and so on but eventually we'll be switching to retrofit to see how that works and then we will have a problem that i'll discuss with coroutines then we have json and we have this mvvm architecture so we'll be following this repository pattern here where we will have an activity we will have view models live data that and these view models and live data will be interacting with the repository repository will decide where the data and how the data will be fetched and then it will be displayed on the ui so what is view model let's start with view model so view model is a class that is designed to store and manage ui related data in a life cycle conscious way so why do we want to save data in view model the problem with saving data in an activity is that activity is just a ui container you are not supposed to save data in an u in an activity because an activity can get destroyed can get recreated there are multiple things that can happen with an activity and in that scenario your data will get lost so we will use this container view model to store our data because if an activity gets destroyed the view model survives so you will have your data in a proper state so for example our screen rotation will destroy data in an activity but in a view model it will stay we'll be using live data which is an observable data class holder so this is again will be used in conjunction with the uh, view models it is life cycle aware so that means that it will know when an activity gets created or destroyed or what is happening with an activity or how the things are going on so now let's jump into the code so i'll be creating a new project empty activity next i'll name it json demo yep let's finish okay so the first topic that i'm going to cover is view binding now what is view binding so as per android we have uh, view binding that is now the recommended behavior previously we used find view by ids or kotlin synthetics but they are not all none of them are is now recommended it's just this view binding so how this view binding works uh, in your build or griddle you mention this build feature that the view binding is true 
what it's going to create it's going to do is it's going to create uh, a class with your XML name and you can basically use that to to find your views so you see activity main it's now activity main binding so you don't need that instead what you need is binding activity main binding inflate binding dot root that's it now let's go to our okay we have a text view here that doesn't have an id so let's give it an id tv hello and before doing that let's run this project for once and i can say binding dot tv hello dot text equals to some new text to show some new text maybe so let me see if this is running so we see hello world now run it again with the view binding some new text so with view binding you can find these views like this